Step 1. Obtain your router information. Before starting the setup of your brother machine, you need to find and write down some very important information related to your wireless settings of your router. George will help you find that information. SSID. Let's find the name of your network called SSID, also known as the Service Set Identity. Click on the wireless network icon in the system tray. A window will open with a list of available networks. Please write down the information of the network that says connected. This is your SSID. Step 2. Activate the wireless card of your brother machine. Press Menu. Scroll to Network. Press OK. Scroll to WLAN Enable. Press OK. Select On. Press OK. Press Stop. Your wireless card is now activated. Step 3. Establish a connection between your router and your brother machine. Press Menu. Scroll to LAN or Network, depending on your model. Press OK. Select WLAN. Press OK. Scroll and select Setup Wizard. Press OK. Your machine will search for the SSID. There might be more than one listed. When you see the SSID you wrote down earlier, scroll to it and press OK. Your brother machine is now connected to your wireless network. Step 4. Print your network settings from your brother machine. Press Menu. Scroll to Print Reports. Press OK. Select Network Configuration. Press OK. Press Start. You will find the IP address, SSID, and communication mode on the printed report. Step 5. Create a folder named Brother on your desktop. Right-click on a free space on your desktop and select New. Select Folder and name the folder Brother. Step 6. Download the full driver and software package. Go to solutions.brother.com to download the full printer driver. Select your region. Select your country and language if required. Type the model name of your brother machine in the search box, Search by Model Name. Note, type hyphen after MFC. Click Search. Click on your model in the Search Result window. Select Downloads. Select your operating system. Select your preferred language. Click Search. Select Full Driver and Software Package. Click on More Information. Click on Download. Please read carefully the End User's License Agreement and click I Accept. At the File Download Security window, click Save. Navigate to the Brother folder you have created earlier and click Save. At the Download Complete window, click Close. Step 7. Decompress the previously downloaded driver. Double-click on your Brother folder on your desktop. Double-click the downloaded file xxxx underscore dot exe. If you obtain the Open File Security window, click Run. Otherwise, continue. At the WinZip self-extractor, click Browse. Browse for the Brother folder and click OK. At the Zip self-decompression window, click Decompress X. Click OK at the WinZip self-extractor confirmation window. The system will generate a folder called mflpro underscore xxxx. Step 8. Install the downloaded drivers. 
Double click on your brother folder on your desktop. Double click on your folder called MFL Pro underscore XXXX. Select and double click on the folder with the model name of your brother machine. Select and double click on the file called setup.exe. Select the language you prefer. For English users, please select USA in the drop down list. Click OK. At the MFL Pro Suite License Agreement, read it and click Yes to continue. At the MFL Pro Driver Installation, choose Wireless Network Connection. Do not check the Custom Install box. Click Next. At the Next screen, check the Checked and Confirmed box and click Next. If you see this window, click Next. Do not uncheck any box, otherwise continue. At the Firewall Detection window, check the Change Firewall Port Setting statement. Click Next. If you see this window, click Restart Later, otherwise continue. At the Would you like to install this device software? Check the Always Trust Software from Brother Industries Limited and click Install. At the Online Registration window, click Next. At the Brother MFL Pro Suite Installation Completed window, select Yes, I want to restart my computer now. Click Finish. Please note that you will need to reconnect to your network once Windows 7 has restarted. You should now be able to print wirelessly. Thank you for your support, George.